Hey guys, Monty Chun here. Today we're back again with another video. I did do a standard rotation predictions video, and this is my expanded rotation predictions slash wants video. Now this video I'm gonna be going a little bit more in depth slash ranty because expanded is a format that I play on here locally in, in Portland, and some things I want from ex the expanded rotation to happen would be to completely kill, not kill off, but definitely bring down the power level of a lot of decks that are rampant in the format, things like Seismitoad, things like Max Easy Veltal, and things like uh, Night March. I'd like to see uh, get boned a little bit by rotation. Unfortunately, night, the last one, Night March, will never, will probably not be boned by rotation because they would pretty much, the way to bone Night March would be to just to rotate out um, Phantom Forces, which probably won't happen for like another two years, two, three years. But Night March, I don't feel like it's as big of a problem as some of the other decks that are popular in the format. The first deck I would like to see get boned by rotation would be Seismitoad Lock. Now, I don't care about which variation of Seismitoad you are playing, I just want this deck to die. But I don't think killing this deck necessarily means by rotating out Furious Fists. I think this um, would be achieved by rotating out a lot of the black and white sets with things like Headringer, Hypnotoxic Laser, Verbank City Gym. Um, Jamming that, a lot of those Team Flare cards I think would definitely make this deck, this power level come down quite a bit to where I think that it would not be as playable or as successful as it has been. Second deck I like to see die would be Eveltal Maxis or just Dark in general. Dark has been way too strong for way too long. I think it's finally time for Dark to move out of the way and let something else take its place. Um, it's just, it's, it stems from Dark Patch. I think that's just sing, the single card that would make Dark its power level come down significantly. They just have way too much recycling power to be good in the format. They have the Battle Compressor to get their Dark Energies in the discard pile. They have Dark Patch to recycle that to grab those energies. And then they have Sableye to recycle those Dark Patches. Kind of broken in my opinion. They have so much potential just to never run out of resources. They have things like Eveltal, like Eveltal to hit you for a lot of damage, and then things like Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick to grab out Galades and Archaeopsis just to cripple you and do even more damage to you. And then the last deck is Night March, but I think this can be just kept in check by just um, the newer decks that are coming out. There are a lot of decks now that hit for these high numbers that just make Night March um, not as relevant as it used to be. Uh, Greninja Break showed that it could take down Night March very easily. Another deck that does really well against this is Mega Gardevoir, just because it can hit for the damage really easily. Also things like um, Lorantis take this deck out pretty good, Decidueye takes this deck out pretty good. A lot of new decks show that they can they can hold their own against Night March. But Night March is still a strong deck. I don't think Night March is necessarily a problem anymore, just because the power level cards have been coming up since Phantom Forces that makes Night March not as relevant. It's still a very cancerous deck, it's still very simple to play. And still very budget friendly. Most of the cards in the deck are under a dollar, which is kind of ridiculous for as top tier deck as it was at one point. But let's talk about what I want from expanded rotation. So expanded, if you guys don't know, is from black and white base set onwards. So all of these sets right here are all standard, are all expanded legal. Well, where did it go? would be from black and white to sun and moon to sun and moon that's currently what's available in standard rotation so i just want to go through each set and tell you guys if i if it gets rotated out what the implications would be so if we look at black and white base set here the left side of this this list the left over here is the american set and this over here is the japanese set as you guys can see there's not a whole lot that we would be losing in black and white base um, most of these cards have been reprinted -pre -pre since Plus power is probably the biggest card in here if we lost that would not be that great, would, would affect some decks. This would kill that that um, Solitaire Latios deck that people like to play on, online a lot. And there's the deck locally, um, it would just, it would keep that, take that deck out of the rotation. Another thing that would we would lose would be Super Scoop Up, which doesn't see a whole lot of play already. It sees some play in like Seismic Toad, but that's about it. Um, next set that we, we if we they rotate it so the first the first way they could do this is they could rotate out black and white 
all the way up to Plasma Storm and leave Plasma Storm, Plasma Freeze, Plasma Blast, and Legendary Treasures into rotation and rotate all of this. This would definitely accomplish a lot of things. Um, if we lost emerging, when we lose emerging powers, we would not really be losing a whole lot of anything. Actually, there's not a whole lot in this set that makes that's relevant anymore, which is fine because not every set has to be relevant. Um, losing noble victories, we would lose mm, pretty much nothing. Yeah, we really wouldn't lose a whole lot of stuff. We would lose Rocky Helmet. Well, that's about it. Actually, not the time card thing. I'm thinking of Rock Dart actually. Um, next thing in the next destinies, what are we losing next destinies? We don't really lose anything next destinies, do we? Mm -mm. Nope. Most of these cards have been reprinted since then. Um, there's nothing really in this set that is still playable that has not already been reprinted. Dark Explorers, though, that's a big set that we would lose a lot of stuff out of. We would def we would be losing things like... Where is it? We'd be losing Darkrai EX. Now, this is the pitch... This is the Night Spear of Darkrai that gives Dark Pokemon free retreat costs. Uh, that would be definitely a big hit to Dark. That's like their mana fee. Another, deck, another thing that we'd be losing in this set, which I would be absolutely thrilled to see gone, would be Dark Patch. Now, Dark Patch is what gives Dark its power. This would definitely be a big hit to Dark in general. I think it'd be awesome to lose that. Another thing we'd be losing would be Sableye, which is right up here. Now, this gives Evels all maxis and Dark decks their, their um, vast amount of recyclability and stop, and which really helps them never run out of resources by using this. They use the Junk Hunt attack to grab two item cards from their discard pile and put them to their hand. They can use this, grab their dark patches, and even though this might get knocked out, oftentimes just grabbing those two dark patches is what keeps them going and helps them close out games. I think this would definitely bring down the power level of dark a lot, along with this and dark patch going out the way, to the point to where I think dark would still be playable, but would not be the powerhouse that it currently is. And I would love to see that. I would love to see new decks come out of the rotation and out of, into the format. Um, as far as anything else in this set, we wouldn't be really losing a whole lot. And then if we were losing Dark Dragon Exalted, we really wouldn't be losing anything out here, I don't think, either. Yeah, Dragon's Exalted, not a whole lot we'd be losing out of this set, either. Uh, Tool Scrapper would definitely be a card we'd be losing a lot of, but we have Starling Megaphone still. But this was really nice to deal with things like Headringer and and Jamming Net. That was probably like the only way you could really deal with it easily. Uh, boundaries Cross. If we were to lose Boundaries Cross, we would be losing. Um, hmm. What is that about Boundaries Cross anyway? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not the set that this comes out of. We would be losing Computer Search. Which would be like the biggest card we're losing out of this set. It's the A spec that pretty much, if you're running it, pretty much oh, if you're running an A spec, you're running computer search just because it's so powerful. If you don't specifically use any of the other A specs for your strategy, you just throw in computer search just because it's that good. But I would not be too sad to see this set leave um, because there's nothing really else in this set that's really seen a whole lot of play. Most of the stuff has gotten reprinted in newer sets. So that would be, if we lose everything up to the plasma block, this is what we'd be losing. We'd be losing Dark Patch, Sableye, uh, Dark Cry, Computer Search, Super Scoop Up. Um, so that's probably the most likely situation is that they're going to rotate all black and white up to Boundaries Cross out for Expanded, and we would have Plasma Storm onward. Now, if they were to rotate all of black and white out, I would actually be more, I would really love this. Because it would make things like Toad Log completely, pretty much unplayable, I would think, without guttering, without butchering a whole lot of decks. By get rid of that first block of up to Plasma, it, get, it definitely brings down the power level of Dark, which is something I really wanted. Um, the biggest thing we'd be losing out of Plasma Storm would be Chorus. Um, this is everyone's favorite supporter. If you play, it's a really good supporter, and I would be sad to see it leave. But if it get if it gets rid of this, 
I'd be happy to see it gone. Uh, that would definitely hurt the power of Toad. It would get rid of Verbank City Gym, which I'd be happy to see gone. Oh, uh, what else would it get rid of? What else? What are, what are the car cards in this set that I hate that I would like to see gone? That's about it in this set. I would not be happy. To, I would not be sad to see any of those sets gone. If we were to lose Plasma Freeze, though. Uh, we would be losing uh, things like Getsis, which I don't think a whole lot of people would be sad to see Getsis leave. I felt like it was just too powerful of a card, especially early game. If you play that in turn one, you pretty much won the game in some cases. Uh, we would be losing Superior Energy Retrieval. Volcano would definitely see, see, see a hit from this card, um, but I would not be too sad to see that if this set leave, if that means he gets rid of Getsis. Uh, another card it gets rid of is Life Do, which uh, it gets rid of that stupid Sableye take 27 price cards deck that runs around. Um, another thing we'd be losing is Rock Guard, but we have things like Bursting Balloon now, which are not as good as Rock Guard, but essentially comp accomplish the same thing. Uh, we'd also be losing nothing else, really, out of this set. Uh, then if we were to lose Plasma Blast, uh, we would be losing things like, uh, we could skip over most of this stuff. We'd be losing Jirachi EX, but we're getting Tapu Lele in the next set anyway, so I don't care. Uh, next thing that we'd be losing is things like, um... Uh, we'd be losing Scoop Up Cyclone, which, not a big deal. Uh, we'd be losing things like, uh... We'd be losing Execute, which is still a really powerful card in the format. Um, it propagation is still really good, but again, like I said, I'd like to see more things, more creativity be brought into the format, which I think could be achieved by eliminating a lot of these old, really powerful cards that make a lot of these decks really hard to, these newer decks hard to play because of how powerful some of these older cards are. Um, by losing Hit the Toxic Laser and things like that, I think it would definitely open up things a lot for us. And then Legendary Treasures, let's be honest, this is a collector set. There's not really a whole lot in here that's... People would be playing still. Um, the Mew EX got reprinted, so it's still avail available in standard format and expanded. So, I think overall by getting rid of... Um, if they got rid of black and white, if they got rid of black and white to um, boundaries crossed, I'd be happy. But I also think if they're going to rotate some of the A specs, they should rotate all of the A specs. Just get rid of A specs altogether. So I definitely think if they go X Y on, it'd be healthy for the format. One because it gets rid of a whole lot of the old, really strong cards that are hard to deal with and aren't have been terror not terrorizing, but have been definitely prevalent in the format since they came out. And have never really lost any play. Also, I think by going X Y on, it brings a whole lot of older cards. It brings by getting rid of all those older cards and promoting more of the new cards would help Pokemon sales. Also, cards from the X Y era are a lot easier to get your hands on and are a lot cheaper. So definitely help out the newer players, such as myself. But overall, I think if they just do black and white to boundaries crossed, it would definitely do a lot of things. It would definitely bring back the power. Bring down the power of dark, and but it would not bring down the power of Seismic Toad, unfortunately. Seismic Toad would still be playable. I would like to see Seismic Toad get guttered by this rotation. I would like to see it go from black and white to legendary treasures, get all those sets out. Um, even though it's a lot of sets and expanded, that's not a big deal because we still have we would still have XY, Flash Fire, Fierce Fist, blah blah blah. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 15, 16 Guardians Rising in the third set would be out by then. So that'd be 16 sets that we'd still have room to play around with. As of right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, plus 27. That'd be 27 sets by the time the rotation hits that we'd be playing with. I think cutting that down to 16 would be a lot healthier for the game. It would definitely foster a lot of more creativity. Have to make a lot. People would have to start experimenting with new decks, and I think it would just shake up the format, make it fresh, make it new, make it a lot more fun to play. I mean, when I was at regionals last week, last weekend, 
I pretty much only saw Eveltal and Naxxies around me. I saw a lot of Turbo Darkrai, I saw a lot of Mega Ray, and I saw a lot of Seismic Toad. Not a whole lot of everything else. There wasn't a whole lot of Rogue decks running around. Uh, Best Bequin Vileplume was still seen though, which is probably like the newest deck that I saw there. There's me and two other people playing Mega Gardevoir, and then there's a few other Rogue decks flying, flying around, but not nearly as many as you think. A lot of people were playing some version of Dark, so definitely going from Black and White to Boundaries Cross would definitely fix that problem. I don't necessarily think it's a problem, but I think it'd be nice to see some new decks come out into the format. But that's my that's my predictions. I think they're def I think they're definitely gonna rotate black and white to boundaries crossed out. At the least, I would like to see all the legendary treasures go out just to get rid of some of the really powerhouse decks. So my prediction is they're going up to be the boundaries cross back is gonna get rotated out into legacy, and our new format's gonna be plasma storm on. But I would hope that if they were going to rotate some of the A-Specs out, they would rotate all of them out. So I think going all the way up to X and Y back would get putting those in Legacy and make our new expanded format XY on. Would definitely be a refreshing take on the format and push us more into a different kind of format that we would not have seen otherwise. Um, but that's my predictions and my wants. Till next time, guys. Peace out. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We get here. Okay, that's cool. So we got a Fighting Fury Belt. Let's drop down the Fighting Fury Belt and then let's uh, max look here. We got the white.